There's 14 different weapons in this game, each of them having their own separate movesets. So I decided to learn every single one of them just to help you new players understand which weapon might be really hard to learn when you could be using a much simpler weapon just so that this game will be less of a struggle for you when you're playing in the deeper parts of the game. Hey guys, my name is Short Devil, and I do stream on Twitch as well. The link is in the description below. I do talk about Monster Hunter stuff, anime, and well, you get to, you know, talk to me live on Twitch. So make sure to follow me there. And also to make sure to follow me on Twitter because that's when I tweet that when I'm going live and you can see what other stuff that I go through in life. So make sure to follow me there. Before we actually start this video, let me tell you guys that this is all based on my opinion of these weapons so maybe some of you guys might find a weapon really easy to use where some of us might find it a bit difficult so this is all based on my opinion so i guess don't hate me for when i say this weapon's really hard to learn where you could be thinking that oh no it's completely easy and also another thing is that you'll find out throughout this video is that i never put any of these weapons just extremely easy to learn they all have their own difficulty so i might drop it down to close to easy but i'd say majority of these weapons are at least above that like, easy so just know that you, you won't see any weapon just drop down to the easiest because they're all difficult in their own way so let's go through our first weapon which is the great sword now the great sword is quite easy to use you just swing the weapon deal some damage and get out. The only difficult thing I find about the greatsword is that, well, when you have the weapon out, you're extremely slow, meaning that you won't be able to move as much when it comes to another weapon. The other diff difficult thing I find about the greatsword is the charge attacks, because when you're charging for an attack, the monster's gonna be moving quite a lot. So the chances of you actually landing your charge attacks can be pretty random. So that's a difficult thing that I find with the greatsword. So in terms of difficulty, I would put the great sword under medium. It's a bit, it's a bit easy to learn to use, obviously. But when you really want to utilize the power of the great sword, which is the, the charge attacks, you're gonna miss your hits. So I'd put it under medium because you're gonna have to time your attacks really well for you to land your charge attacks. Next on the list is the sword and shield. Now the sword and shield is very easy to use. I really like how it's just. You don't really need to know much of it. I guess maybe a few button combos, but it's really good. It's very really simple to use. The only difficult thing I find about the sword and shield is the range. It has a really short range. You need to be extremely close to the monster that you start dealing damage with it. And especially with some monsters that fly in the air, you're gonna miss your hits. So in terms of difficulty to learn, it is definitely in between easy and medium easy for its ability to attack monsters but hard for reaching that range to hit the monster next is the hammer now the hammer is another easy weapon to learn how to use so i would definitely put this just in between easy and medium but the difficult thing about this weapon is that it's only able to do blunt damage meaning that you're not going to be able to cut off a monster's tail with this weapon you're going to be able to stun monsters really well if you attack their head and also this weapon is quite hard to hit because of its short range so keep in mind that you're not going to be able to attack the monster from a distance unless you get really close next is the lance not much to say about this weapon <laughs> other than you just pretty much block and poke against your enemy i mean there are other things to take note of like your positioning, your countering attack, as well as the power guard. Yeah, I would definitely put this weapon under easy and medium. Easy because there's not much attacks to like, remember. And it's definitely a medium because it's a very heavy weapon. You know, you can't really move much when, once you have the weapon out. So it's difficult in that terms, but other than that, it's super easy. Moving ahead, we have is the switch axe. Now the switch axe, is definitely difficult to learn basically i would put this under medium but a bit close to hard because you gotta take an eye on the meter that's the meter that fills up when you're landing hits 
so that you're able to switch into the sword mode. Now, this weapon has two different modes to also remember. You have the axe mode and then the sword mode. Now, when you switch into the sword mode, your movement gets reduced, but you're able to deal out much more damage. But you need to keep an eye on the meter because the meter tells you that you're able to switch into the sword mode and also deal some elemental damage for whenever your sword's fully charged up. So that's why I would put this in between medium and hard because you need to remember there's two different modes and you need to keep an eye on the bar as well as handling with the monster. Next is the insect glaive. Now the insect glaive out of the other weapons we've seen is an easy hard. This weapon is quite hard to like learn off the bat at least but it is easy once you understand everything you know the three buffs that the little little bar that you have on top and then you gotta remember about the insect stamina and also when you send them out to when you mark the monster with your insect glaive so that it can constantly bring out these dust clouds whenever it hits the monster and also you gotta remember to nurture your kinsect so whichever kinsect that you're going after you need to make sure it has the right stats yeah there's a lot of things to learn for the insect glaive that's why i put it on the hard next on the list i'm gonna put these two weapons together because they're pretty much the same is the light and heavy bowgun now the only difference between the two is that one is that well for the light bowgun is that you're able to maneuver much better than the heavy bowgun it's much more light obviously that's why it's called the light bowgun and with the light bowgun you're able to put bombs into the ground whereas the heavy bowgun it doesn't have that ability instead you're able to use something called the wyvern blast which is the strongest ammo type and i didn't record any footage of it now the difficulty for learning these two weapons i would definitely put it under well at least in between medium and hard now the reason why i put it in that difficulty is because you gotta know which weapon or at least bowgun which bowgun can take in whichever ammo type so some might be able to take in a spread free ammo type whereas another one won't be able to do that another thing to also keep in mind of is the custom mods that you apply on your weapon so you might be able to increase the reload time or maybe reduce the recoil of a specific weapon so you need to keep an eye on that and also there's a fat table on the ammo types and the mods that will affect the weapon it's just that table that table is confusing and it will confuse a lot of like new players to monster hunter so that's why i would put it under that difficulty next we have is the long sword now the long sword is another easy weapon to use very f a favorite of mine because it's fun to do that helm breaker thing when you slice downwards and it does multiple hits that's a fun thing to do <laughs> but in terms of difficulty of using this weapon it is definitely a medium i would maybe put it somewhere like just above medium just just a little bit above medium because of learning its counters learning the counters can be very useful but it's just timing them can be a bit hard especially when you maybe suck at timing things so i definitely put this weapon down as a medium Nothing hard to learn. Maybe you need to keep an eye on the spirit gauge, which is the top left bar that appears when you're using the weapon. But other than that, it's quite easy to use. It's definitely a medium for me. Next we have is the dual blades. Now the dual blades is a very fun weapon that I like to use because you can do this nice spinning attack whenever you jump off a ledge, hit a monster. <laughs> other than that, learning this weapon is definitely in between easy and medium it's only close to medium because whenever you activate the demon state that's when you pull up the blades up and just start running like naruto doing that will consume your stamina so you need to keep an eye on your stamina on top of doing some damage to the monster doing some very nice damage but since as you can see the weapon is quite short it means that you need to be close to the monster to do some damage but with its evasion, uh, evasion, yeah, evading abilities, sorry, <laughs> with its ability to evade while attacking, it's really good. It's a really fun weapon to use. Next up is the hunting horn. The hunting horn is definitely a hard. I 
Literally, it hurts to friggin' think about the hunting horn, I swear to god. <laughs> the reason why I put the hunting horn on hard is because every attack you do has a melody tied to it. And also, each hunting horn has their own melodies. Meaning that every like little button combo that it has on the hunting horn, they all build up to a melody that you want to play. And once you play those melodies, that's when you get those buffs going on. And also, you're trying to play these melodies while fighting the monster while keeping in mind of which combos that you want to string up for getting a particular buff so that's why it's a bit it would be a bit difficult for like a person that's just jumping into the game and then they just pick the hunting horn straight off and they have to deal with the different notes that's in there along with different combos and it might be a bit overwhelming for a new player it's, it was definitely overwhelming for me but after having gotten a couple of hunting horns here and there, I've begun to realize that yes, each hunting horn has, has their own buffs and melodies that can be played for each one. Next we have is the gun lance. Now the gun lance works the same way as the lance. It's quite easy to use. So in terms of difficulty, the gun lance is definitely a medium, just a bit above the lance because the gun lance has a few additional features like doing some next nice explosions when you're next to the monster also has the little like wyvern explosion that it does and you're also able to stick in this explosive thing into the monster blows up after a couple times yeah it has additional things that makes the gun lance a bit more fun to use rather than using the lance next on the list is the charge blade now the charge blade i'd say was quite easy for me to learn but with the amount of things that you do with the charge blade i would put it close to hard but in the medium side the reason why i put it in between medium and hard is because you gotta charge up your shield so that you can get a nice defensive shield because without it you're not gonna be like proper blocking out attacks than you normally would be you also gotta charge up your sword so that you can deal some nice explosive damage for whenever you're attacking the monster with your sword and then also you gotta charge up your axe thanks to Iceborne adding the ability to charge up the axe whenever you switch to that state and also you gotta keep an eye on the, the vials because the vials help charge your shield your sword and axe state so it might be a bit overwhelming for a new player and lastly the bow the bow is an extremely easy weapon to use there's not much there you have to learn except for i guess keeping the distance of the monster because if you're too far then you're not able to do specific damage yet also able to apply some coatings to your bow but eh, it's not that difficult i'll definitely put this weapon just in between easy and medium for learning it there's not much to learn when it comes to the bow so that's all of my thoughts for all 14 weapons whether they're hard to use or just really easy to actually use themselves now once again let me remind you that these are all biased on my opinion of the weapon it might be easy for you to actually use it yourself or like something like the charge blade i said it was completely easy for me whereas it might be a bit difficult for other players because i mean there's a lot of things to handle so it's all up to you these are just my thoughts i'm saying that these weapons might be a bit hard for you to learn or it might be a bit easy so that's all I have. If you found this video useful, once again, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for some more helpful videos and other games that I might be covering later on in the future. And also to make sure to follow me through Twitch, I do stream every now and then, so make sure to follow me there. Make sure your notifications are on, but then again, it's not really reliable <laughs> as far as I know. So that's why you should make sure to follow me on Twitter. I do tweet when I'm going live. So make sure to follow me there links are all in the description below as per usual and that's all i have for the video thank you guys for watching and i shall see you guys later enemy veto yeah i'm gonna i see oh collateral boom <laughs> i'm gonna die <laughs>